we did an interview with little Bibby, and right. you know he mentioned how he doesn't he doesn't smoke, he doesn't he doesn't drink lean, he doesn't even drink anymore because he he got like it's a lot of bullshit that's happened when he was high or, or, or drunk. So if you think about all the people you know that you were close to, they got killed. Mm -hmm. What percentage of them do you think were high at the time that they got killed? All of my homeboys is high all the time. <laughs> they high all the time, so probably all, all of them was high when they got killed down there. Do you feel like, you know, you'll be stopping getting high and getting drunk because you want to be more alert, especially with I mean, all these beefs? I mean... Like that, like I'm always on point, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker gonna stay on point, you know what I'm saying? I ain't lacking off these drugs. Hell no, nah, I ain't never lacking off no drugs. I got my pistol on me, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't never out over high. Like, you you never, you never, how I'm put this, like, you never go out your environment, like, getting over high. Like, you playing yourself out. Like, I, I feel what he's saying. Like, if I'm like somewhere we at a party, some hell no, nah, I'm not getting over high. Hell no, nah, none of that shit. I'm on point, I'm paying attention, motherfucker, and I'm finna. Feel me, catch me snooze, slipping on that shit, but we at the career, we at the spot. Hell yeah, I'm high as hell, high as I want to be. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Right. And what's your choice of drugs? Shit, weed and lean. Do you think you'll ever stop lean? I feel, I mean, like, I feel yeah. like a lot of people are, are they, once they get enough of it, they're just like, all right, I'm done with this because I need to be alert during meetings. You know, it's a lot of big things happening. I got to be awake. Right, hell yeah. So shit, hell yeah, I slow down on this shit, though. Sooner or later. <laughs> How much do you drink, um, say, within a day? Shit, what well, we dropping? We dropping eights and shit. We motherfucker drinking, so motherfucker pouring up mud, motherfucker going to sleep. You feel me? So, man, mm -hmm. you waking up, folding them, got some more drink. You what the fuck, folk? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, do you usually have a ritual before you record? What you mean by that? Like, do you have to, like, light up? Do you have to have some Henny? Oh, yeah, I'm, no, not even that shit. I'm just going to go in there. That's regular anyway. I'm going to get high, whoop, boop, get high, roll up, go in there, and just go crazy. Right. Um, let me see. So here's another question, because I feel like this is, like, the what intrigues me. You know, you said that you had no choice. You, you got into the streets because, you know, you, you're your own man. Right. And pretty much you do what you want, but say if you, do you have any younger brothers? Yeah, I got some little brothers and shit, yeah, yeah. Right. So do you ever like look at them and, and kind of worry about them following your path? Yeah, or like, following that, a that you know what I mean, that dangerous lifestyle? Right. Yeah, but at the same time, I get on their ass like, nah, this ain't, hell nah, this ain't none of that. You trip, shout, you better go your ass to school or you ain't getting shit. You ain't gonna get nothing, you're gonna be bad out here, Nat Boom. You better stop playing. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, do you yeah. feel like you, you feel like you gotta take them like away from their environment? Like you have to be the savior and like fly them to, to LA and just keep them with you? I mean because shit. It, yeah, sooner or later, cause the city fucked up shit. Even if a motherfucker ain't trying to do it, it's just what a motherfucker around. A motherfucker anything you around, you're gonna have to adapt to or you just gonna be a fucking target. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be no just no fucking target. Just go hell nah. That's a goof. Hell nah. Right. And how do you feel about like Trump talking about Marsh uh, bringing in um, you know cops? I mean not cops, but like martial law and app applying that and bringing in like armed forces to pretty much to clean up the city. Man, that shit ain't gonna. Uh, what the fuck does? I don't know what the fuck that's gonna do. What the fuck that's gonna do? Motherfuckers still gonna be doing what they doing is just motherfuckers gotta go a better way about it. That's what I'm saying. They has to be tweaking, thinking they gonna do something. They not, they can't stop shit. Motherfuckers can't stop nothing. Motherfuckers ain't stopping shit at all. What do you think can stop it then? Shit. Oh, let me see. I oh, don't know shit. It's just, motherfuckers be too angry, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it's fucking really little ass kids. Like, it's little ass kids that don't even know what the fuck going on. They not even, they don't even know. They merching on niggas. They don't even fucking know. Like they just doing something just to do it. Listening to music and all this. You feel me? So they don't really know what the fuck going on. They just going to do it. So that shit fucked up our kids growing up. So I don't think that shit like, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck you going to tell a little boy? A little boy ain't listening to your ass. You feel me? So 
Motherfuckers gonna still go do what they gonna wanna go do at the same time. So shit. I don't know what you but gonna get. Everybody in Chicago in one place and make them all talk. That motherfucker gonna be. It's gonna be a shootout in that motherfucker. I mean, do you feel like? I mean, just like you mentor your your little brothers, right? And you right. tell them like right from wrong. You tell them like stay clear of this and do this. You know what I mean? Just focus on your studies and the rest you got, right? Right. Do you think that if if these young men had that type of guidance, that it'd be different? Cause you're still like you're young. Right. You're 20 and you've been doing this since since when? How old? Like eight? I've been doing hell. No, I've been in this shit like shit. Hell, no, I've been in this shit. Since I was like. 12 years old, you feel me? When my, like I told you, when my daddy got like, I've been around this shit, but I wasn't really like, just, have to, I ain't had to go do it, because my daddy had taken a motherfucker away, you feel me? Motherfucker was always around and in this shit since a shorty shorty, but I really got in this shit when he was gone, like, ain't no more going away, none of that shit, you in this shit all day, every day, you feel me? Right, right. And did your father, from even from prison, did he try to, to give you that advice? Yeah, my so, like, daddy stay- always giving me advice, coming through long ass paragraphs when I'm waking up and shit. <laughs> he keep motherfucker motivated though. Right. And what do you, like what is his reaction when you tell him like the truth about your life and I mean, you're a rapper, so like things are going great for you, but besides that, you know, he kind I know he he would be worried about you because you're like your name is popping up in beefs and right, stuff yeah. like that. Right. I be just, I'll avoid that shit when he talk about it. I'll be irritating about it. You know, anyway, like, he want to get on some all type mm-hmm. of shit, you feel me? But at the same time, he know, he know how I move and shit like that. He know I ain't done. Right. Um. So I wanted to ask you, you know, we, what's the issue between you and um 600 Breezy? Because <laughs> the video is going back and forth. <laughs> What's Hell going on nah. there? Huh, what's the issue? Mm-hmm. Shit, man, I issue, shit. You know what the fuck going on? It's goofy, yeah. He know what's going on, man. It's goofy as he said, my name in the song. I know y'all been heard that. That's the song he did that did a million views. He said my name as soon as he came off. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, he know what the fuck going on. It's goofy. Yeah. And the same thing happened with you. Can you, like, also explain your beef with... Tay 600, and also why you decide to no diss Katie Got Bands. I ain't beef with no snitch. I don't know nothing about that. I ain't too with that boy. That boy going about to do what he doing. He live his little life. I ain't beef with no snitch. Uh-uh. You but know, you, that, speaking of that, like, you, there was a video of you. You posted up, I think, documents, and you <laughs> claim that, you claim that um, Billionaire Black was, was responsible for that. Yeah, exactly. And awesome. you... And you, you know, you pointed out names and stuff like that. But w- uh, so my question is, where did you get that first? You mean where I and get that from? I got that shit here. Yeah, my homie just came on, beat a body, been locked up six years. You know what I'm saying? From niggas trying to snitch on him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas getting on the stands and all that goofy ass shit. That man name and that paperwork, all that shit. I got that shit. Niggas know I got that shit. I ain't got no time to make no shit. Niggas know that's why. You read the comments. It's real niggas coming on that day. Nah, folks ain't make this shit. This shit real. Folks ain't finna be doing. I'm not, I don't got no time to make shit. That shit real. That shit is from the prison. He know that shit. That's why he, uh, he's saying he really can't say shit. He's stuck like, damn. Uploading pictures talking about I'm a rat. Yeah, yo ass a fucking rat. I mean, so why go back and forth with him if you have the documents then? Like, what was no, the I just, I like? just had to put it out there because I, I didn't have it. I had just got it. And I been talked to, to him about, I'm, boy, yo, look, what the fuck you want? You want some police ass shit? And he tried to act like he didn't know what I was talking about. Man, get your, you feel me? Trying to pull your goof ass. I right, got something for your ass. Now I'm going to let the world know what the fuck really going on with you. Yeah. I mean, how important is, like, the no snitch rule Ain't in no Chicago? Snitch, Ain't no snitch, man. You snitch, you got to get away from me. I'm, hell, no, I ain't none of that shit. Ain't no snitch in that shit. That shit. You get a nigga 100 years, boy, you tripping. What the fuck you on? Mm-hmm. And what, what's, what's your thoughts on, like, when King Yella defended him? King Yella is a fucking goofy-ass nigga, too. He's a fucking lame-ass nigga, too. Niggas know. They know what the fuck going on. He a lame-ass nigga, too. I don't even know why he responded. Like, who the fuck is you? He's a little Geechee-ass nigga. He's a lame-ass nigga to me, I'll tell you. Cornball. 
surprisingly enough for me, when I was like hearing, you know, doing my research and just seeing a lot of <laughs> your video responses, tweets, you know, your music, and, um, and your interviews, the one interview, I think it was Say Cheese, you, you came at a female rapper. And I was kind of shocked because normally you don't have, <laughs> you, like, I'm like, this guy's really living up to his name. <laughs> you really don't have a lot of rappers like doing that, you know, calling out other female rappers right. for, you know, just, you know, whatever reason. Right. And I just wanted to know what was the reason behind that because you never explained um, your, your beef with Kate. Well, why you dissed, it's maybe not a beef, but man, why you dissed Katie got Katie banned. little dirty ass, man. I ain't really either. Mm, I don't got no beef with her. She's a female. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Her dirty ass is from somewhere. And like I done had altercations with her, like I'm out of town and goofy shit. She wanna say do goofy shit. Like she fuck that bitch. She goofy as hell. I'll slap her a little dirty. Yeah. Is, was there like was is there like something that ha transpired before that or was I there mean, words or something? Not even no words. That's why I said she from a she from a place. Let me see how I'm put this. She from a place where they die a lot. <laughs> you feel me? So she just I don't know, her ass be tweaking. She be trying like she tough and shit. So. Mm. so, I mean, what was your reaction when you, you brought, mentioned her name? Did you she get a response? Re she blocked me on everything. She blocked me on uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. <laughs> did, did she try to reach out shit. to you to find out what was up, though? She ain't gonna reach out to me. Ain't no reaching out to me, shit. I like, I, like I was with, um, let me see. Like I was in a club and shit. I was when I was just in, when I was in Chicago. Trina came up there and shit. They called me up there. I was fucking with her and shit. And they was performing like. And she wanted to come where Trina was at. She's gonna come talk to her till she seen me. She like, oh, uh -uh, I can't even go over that. So she ain't never go talk to Trina. None of that shit. I'm with Trina and them and shit. See, they like, damn, what the fuck is he doing with her? You feel me? I mean, if you guys run to each other, like, what what could happen? Ain't not gonna she happen. Curse her she out? <laughs> no, ain't not gonna happen. It's just the company she keeps. She is the motherfucker she around. Mm. So it ain't nothing with her. I ain't gonna do nothing. To her. I just slap the fuck out of her ass. I ain't gonna do nothing to her. I just don't like females who be acting like like tough. Like, come on, man, what you doing all that for, man? Stop playing out here. Motherfuckers catch you by your say, you, uh, uh Stop playing. Don't do that. Yeah. Is that hard though? Like, like you said, you were at a Trina concert and she was there, and I could assume like some of your, you know, your enemies might have been there too. Yeah. How hard is it to like go to events, go to shows and shit like that, without mm. getting caught up? Shit, ain't no getting caught up. Shit, motherfucker, see me? What's up? What's up? No, I'm coming. Shit, what's up? Why are you coming? Are you bumming? Shit, you feel me? Right. Do you feel like? You have to you have to be around people that can sometimes handle that shit for you because you're yeah. on a different platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fucker know I keep shooters with me. They know that. They ain't even gotta be talked about. They that now they they really know that shit. They know that. They know what the fuck going on on that type of shit. They they know. They know what the fuck going on. So yeah, yeah, yeah they know I keep some shooters with me. Some shooters with me. I mean, and you know, usually when you have shooters with you. Um, you you always know the rule where you gotta like look out for them if they get caught up, if the, yeah, if yeah, the cops yeah. get on, yeah, if they yeah. get locked up. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, I already know. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I answer my phone for all the guys. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Stand on all that business. 